Here are five tips, yes, five tips for beginners for the new game Breachers VR on the Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2. Let's not waste any time and get straight to the video. For tip number one, first of all, go ahead and unmute yourself. This is gonna save you a lot of frustration. It happened to me a lot while I was joining matches, automatically muted, and I was talking to myself. Most people do this in matches, so go ahead and turn it off. It's gonna make you feel like you're not invisible and you're actually part of the team. Tip number two. With this, you're really gonna feel like you're part of a SWAT team. Now, instead of normally breaking these windows with your fist or your gun, what you're gonna do instead is press your right joystick. What your character does is swing back and it reaches in using its legs. This could be a really good technique to use to surprise your enemies, but just be careful how you use it because it could also alert your enemies of exactly where you are. Tip number three. This tip is all about the lasers. Yes, these lasers. Now when placed on your gun, they can actually make your gun extremely accurate. But this comes at a cost of 10% and when you mix it with a suppressor, it ends up being more. Also, whenever you are using your laser, in close quarters, enemies can actually see it. So that gives away your precision, making you very vulnerable. To fix this, all you're going to have to do is turn off your laser by pressing the back button of your non-dominant hand. Tip number four. Crouching. Now, crouching is extremely important to this game. Unless you want to burst in, you want to sneak up on your enemies and not make a noise. When you walk, it actually makes a lot of noise. Listen to this video and you'll see why. Tip number five, simply practice. Now this is a really fun game, but if you're not used to the game mechanics, you're gonna have a rough time. I would suggest trying out the tutorial first to make sure you get adjusted with the gameplay, then maybe try out the shooting range and try out every gun to see what you like. Also, I recommend that you get familiar with the maps. A lot of times knowing the map and how to get around it actually makes you a better player. Oh, oh, he's even the playing field. To be an effective player, you also have to learn how to use your gadgets. Get familiar with every gadget from your menu. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you learned something from it. And if you have any other questions, please go I ahead and comment them below. I got you right. I'll see you later. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's just sitting in a corner. He's in that corner.